Good evening everyone, this time we'll be taking a look at someone from a far off land whose people have a warlike culture and enjoy randomly invading wherever they feel like, so long as it's either west or east. Lucky for us, this individual has cast off the primitive ways of his kin and instead uses his talents to swindle extortionate sums of money from unsuspecting heroes. Yeah, today we're going to be covering the Goblin Tinkerer from Terraria. The Goblin Tinkerer is, as the name might suggest, a goblin, a relatively squat creature with a bluish skin coloration, a tone that's generally consistent with the gradient of skin colour apparent in his race, typically ranging from blue to bright green. The Tinkerer does not, however, appear to possess the distinctive pointed ears apparent in all other members of his species, neither do they wear the traditional attire of the goblins, preferring what appears to be a shirt of some kind, something that may reflect their increased intelligence compared to the rest of their people. Similarly to everyone else in Terraria, the Goblin Tinkerer is known by a range of names, including Durnok, Nort, Smador, and Xanos. It has to be noted that many of the Tinkerer's names are highly unusual and may not actually be able to be pronounced correctly by humans. Unlike most people in Terraria, a surprising amount is known about the Goblin Tinkerer, especially astounding given his distant origins. This being said, however, it is still a comparatively small amount and can be open to speculation. What is known is that he hails from the Goblin homeland, a place thought to be far across the sea from the mainland of Terraria, and he was largely shunned by his peers, given that the Tinkerer is far more intelligent probably than most of them put together, preferring to create and reforge items into stronger variants instead of participating in constant wars. As a result, his people tied him up and left him at the site of one of their attempted conquests, only for him to be found by the champion of Terraria, joining their effort to rid the world of evil. During their time with the champion, the Tinkerer seems to have taken a liking to the mechanic, feelings that appear to be reciprocated, probably due to the similarities in their interests. He seems to have a much poorer relationship with the Clovia and Stylist, however, albeit the latter being simply because he is unable to grow hair. Surprisingly enough, and likely due to the relatively large amount of information around him, the official records and legends tend to generally agree on the life of the Tinkerer, with the only caveat being that legend speculates that his shorter ears is not a natural mutation, but a mutilation imposed by his people as a punishment for his intelligence and perceived arrogance. The main theories that exist are less around the Tinkerer himself and more the goblin people as a whole, where official tales consider the goblin army to be largely a marauding rabble of fighters and hex wielders, potentially spurred by the retrieval of a lost battle standard. Legends considers that they are the descendants of the ancient builders who created the world, ones who built a secluded island home, albeit tumultuous, away from the chaos of the rest of the world. Upon seeing the destruction wrought upon the mainland by the irresponsibility of the lizards and the various cosmic horrors, they began to fear for their own home and led attacks in an effort to put an end to the danger, including killing the one they saw as responsible for summoning the threats, the champion of Terraria themselves. To do this, they summoned the dark magic of the Shadow Flame, something their ancestors had dabbled in long ago, only to be corrupted by it. Any attempt at communication from the champion by waving the goblin standard are usually seen as insults and only result in further attacks. While not the most unique or even interesting individual in the history of Terraria, the Goblin Tinker is certainly special amongst his own cast, albeit to his own downfall, and goes on to aid the champion more than they hinder them with increasingly large reforging bills. In all, the story of the Goblin Tinker is a very human one, about adaptation and finding a new home amongst people who are more like you, even though they may not appear so, even finding love along the way. For these reasons and the fact that the workbench he is able to provide is genuinely useful, the Goblin Tinker has to be given a notoriety of moderate. I like to think that the goblins have a range of different punishments for each transgression in their society, with say thievery being punished with a scar on the face, cowardice causing you to lose a finger or something, and the removal of the pointed ears, the symbol of what it means to be a goblin, being reserved for those ungoblin like, just like the Tinkerer. Maybe not accurate, but definitely interesting to think about. Anyways, please subscribe for more course content, and become a patron or channel member to support the course, and for early access to this lecture series. I'm sorry I haven't really been keeping up with that lately, life just gets crazy sometimes, but I'll try my best to get the these out for early access from now on. Now, make sure you have a great day and please try not to get scammed by any goblins along the way.